Hello, everyone, and welcome into day 12 slash 13 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay, let me explain. So yesterday I got on and I just felt like playing for a little bit without recording. Um, but I didn't realize like so many important events would happen. So what I did was I captured 30 seconds of what was going on so that way I can include them into today's video. So since technically I played day 12, I wanted to call this episode day 12 and 13. <laughs> um, so I put all the important stuff in. I will show you guys that at the beginning of this. So if it seems weird when I start talking um, at the start of what should just be day 13 by itself, that's why it's because I included the clips and then did like a voiceover for day 12 just to just to read what was on the screen for everyone. But anyways, I will not keep you guys waiting any longer. Please join me for day 12 and 13 of Animal Crossing. Thanks so much for being here. Let's get to it. On day 12, I went ahead and bought my turnips from Daisy May. We bought 350 of them. I kind of had to speed this up because I only had 30 seconds. I was doing this in handheld mode, not at my desk, so I didn't have my Elgato capture card to do this. So I can't read this for you guys because it's going too fast. When I slowed it down, it was weird. Here I'm talking to Tom Nook about how the campsite is starting to bring in more visitors and that it's really working out and he is hoping that more word of mouth will spread and we can actually get um, a KK concert here. So Isabella is just saying that she can't wait and is excited and um, that we're all going to help give a helping hand to bring KK to our island. Um, I sat down, asked him what should we do. He explained to me that in order to um, have KK come to the island, we really need to get Project K started. And to do that, we need to improve our island image that I need to speak with Isabel, who will assist me with that on giving us our island rating. So that way we know where we stand, what I need to do, and that basically I need infrastructure to help with that. So in a minute here, we're gonna see me placing a bridge because we went ahead and bought a bridge, just another one to have. Um, Isabel is explaining that we are needing to increase the image of our island so I can come speak to her at any time for island evaluations. Here she will give me my island rating. And right now, because we just started, our island rating is going to be on the lower side than I hoped for, but we just started. We haven't really done much. We need to get more people. We need more flowers, um, more everything. So currently we have a one star rating. She is letting me know that somebody had added some information to it right now. We don't have much to go off of. So it's only like from one person's perspective. So we really need to get more residents here. So that way we can get more word of mouth spreading to grow our population even more so kk when he visits he's like whoa <laughs> i have an audience um here we are talking about amiibos so now that i have the campsite up and going i now have access to adding animal crossing characters via amiibo and then here is where i put the bridge um, which you guys will see as we're playing in today's episode for today 13 or day 13. <laughs> um, I added a little bit of money here as well, but Tom Nook was happy. We did a great job. He was satisfied. So it's after we pay the 98,000 bells that I owe on this, we will have a bridge built here. This is going to be slow. <laughs> Here I am collecting some stars from the night before. So I think it was Saturday night I was on. Yes, and I wished upon a few stars and they appeared. And then I noticed that Abel's sister's tent is up. So we're getting ready for the construction there. And here we meet Tucker. Tucker is now a friend of ours on the island. We will see them on day 14. And I'm so excited for it. He is such a cutie, right? 
So this was this was interesting. I loved his outfit so much. Like, he's so unique. Okay, here I am wishing on a few stars. <laughs> this was um, a Saturday night as well, I believe. And I did some more last night, so. But anyways, let's join in for day 13 now. Thank you for tuning in to day 12. Day 13, Isabel says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Isabel. Right now on Rose Pond, it's 11.45 a.m. on Monday, April 8th, 2024. It's my daughter's birthday today. She just turned 16. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and unfortunately, she has to spend her birthday at school, which is the first in a very long time that she has had to spend her birthday at school. Normally it falls on spring break. Now for today's announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big rose pond welcome to Bangle. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Bangle, on behalf of your new island family, welcome aboard. Yes, welcome, my love, welcome. And the most wonderful thing happened to Rose Pond today. The Able Sisters tailoring shops opened. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items you'd expect, as well as custom design gallery. This is a great chance for everyone to enjoy new styles and maybe start our own Rose Pond trends. Yes. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you were interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at Resident Services. And to wrap things up today, I have an event announcement. <gasps> Ooh, This Saturday, we'll have our island's very first fishing tourney. Oh my goodness. There will be a registration tent set up in the plaza from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so be sure to stop by if you can. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Oh, how exciting. I've only done the fishing tournament one time and the bug event one time, and it was when it first came out, so I'm super stoked. My phone is ringing. Oh, it's probably Timmy and Tommy. I dropped some stuff off last night. Tommy says, hello, this is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. I've reached Birdie, right? We've sent a payment to your bank account for 4,036 bells for what you left in the drop-off drop box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Yep, it was right at 10. I went to walk into the store to sell my stuff and it was closed. Ursula says, what's up, Birdie? I was all psyched up to send you a letter. So I grabbed a pen and some paper, sat down and right away forgot what I was going to write you about. I'll write again if I remember. So hang on tight until then. OK, it'll come to me. Ursula. Nook Inc. says, Dear Birdie, a new resident moved to a plot you set up. As a small token of our appreciation, we've put 1,000 Nook miles into your account. We hope you spend them on something that makes you happy. Thank you. And I also did a little bit of shopping yesterday. I forgot to make a mention of the Nook shopping. So when you go inside, and you access the ABD and there's the Nook shopping. If you purchase, what is it, a hundred items? Again, if I am wrong, please put it in the comments because I don't want to misinform anybody. I think it's a hundred items that you have to buy in order to unlock the Nook shopping app. So then you can do all of your Nook shopping straight from your phone, no matter where you are. You are. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you are. What is wrong with me? Anywho's, I think I'm a little bit high on life today 
Honestly, today has been like the first happy day I've had, like a genuinely happy day, not putting on a on a show, a brave face or anything for anybody. It's just I woke up this morning and I felt like a weight of depression kind of lifted off of me. I don't know. I don't know if it's my baby girl <laughs> turning 16 years old today or just waking up another day and feeling incredibly blessed because I have an amazing family, I have amazing people in my life, and I have you guys. And I look forward to these recordings every day because it's me spending time with you all. And so I, I love it. <laughs> oh, and my bestie, Jessie, that's why I'm still on the screen. She and I have been playing together quite a bit, giving each other gifts and stuff. She is so sweet. Um, we, we're helping each other out, you know. She's new to the game, so I gave her a whole bunch of materials. Um, because, uh, you know, kind of wish somebody would have helped me out when I first started playing, but I didn't know anybody. I played by myself until my fiance started playing, so then he and I were helping each other. Oh, and then I'm going on and on, and I'm not even showing you guys. Yeah, I've, I've been busy. Yesterday, I, I don't know. Yesterday was kind of stressful. It was, uh, today I think is like the first peaceful day I've had. So yesterday I got on and I think I just let out some mom rage. I love my family and I love being around them, but I've had a house full of kids all spring break, all day from morning to night. I haven't had any like me time, any privacy. And so yesterday, I think I just needed to let a little bit out in this game. And that's why I didn't record because I just needed some time to myself. I needed to do something that that was just for me. And but then I was like, oh no, there's all these like important things popping up. So I need to save this so I can share it with all my new friends. Um, but yeah, I ended up taking some of these fruit trees. These are all peach trees. Um, I, I just had to shake some of them so I can keep moving them. <laughs> but I wanted to move them kind of more uniform so I can access them. And then these are all the trees that I will hit every single day. I think there's 25 here. It's like a five by five tree plot. But um, these, it, it, it's easier if I can do it this way. Just have a tree farm that I can hit so I get my resources. And then to me, the rest of the trees can go. Now, as you saw in the, the previous clip before we started day 13, I got shooting stars and I got them twice in a row. I believe they changed how the shooting stars work. It used to be that there was a site that you could go onto and I cannot remember it anymore because it's been forever. Before we go in there, I just want to explain this real fast. Um, you know what, we'll go ahead and just pick up all of my stars while I'm thinking about it. But there was a site that you can go on to and it would allow you to see when your island was going to have shooting stars and when it was going to rain. Um, and it was, uh, it was very difficult trying to get that information. It took forever for me to figure it all out. Um, oh, I also moved Rowan, by the way, because we're about to see him. This is Tex and Bangle. Don't worry, we will go see everyone today. And then I moved to Rowan's house. And also, as you saw, we have a new friend coming, Tucker. <laughs> but anyways, they ended up changing it to where your island always gets shooting stars. So, <laughs> hi, Rowan. So I have met Celeste twice. Oh, I'm not looking at you. Still not looking at you back I met Celeste twice had shooting stars twice in a row so I had them last night and then again um, the night before so I've collected quite a bit of star fragments I'm really excited about it I got my first um, uh, what would you call it astrology I don't know maybe that's not right we'll just say it this way I got this, the Aries rocking chair, and I don't know how to find it. 
And honestly, I think we should craft it because I've never crafted these items before. I always craft um, like when you get the moon chair and stuff like that. Those are the things that I craft. I never craft these ones that have to do with the signs. So we should do that today. And then here's Mr. Lloyd. <laughs> Let's give him some money today. Right now, I'm taking donations for a log bridge. Our goal is 98,000 bells. Currently, we have 53.44 in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 92,656 bells. If you can spare even a single bell, great. We appreciate your support, friend. Sure, I'll help. I put some in yesterday, too. I'm going to just start with the 5,000 for now. And if we get some more money, then I'll add more. I do have quite a bit in my savings, but my savings is for my home loan. So I try not to touch that. And I've accumulated quite a bit because I, I just keep dumping stuff in there. Oh, and then we also picked up our bottle. I'm so excited that I'm all over the place. I apologize. Congrats on finding my treasure. I was lay relaxing yesterday while reading comics when I thought of this recipe. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. You'll want to use it all the time. The DIY pop star, Wendy. Oh, I think I know this one. Yep. I will set it aside. My bestie picked up the other recipes that were sitting there, so I do not have those anymore. So I'll probably leave that behind for her as well if she doesn't already have a shell table. Um, I also made some arrangements um, and, and I kind of just like low-key passed over it and didn't even say anything. So this path, this path right here took me three hours to do both the sidewalk and the brick for it. It was a pain and I have no idea what I'm doing. I had to look up how to do a brick design. Hi, sorry, I need you for my collection. Um, but this is what it turned out to be. What do you guys think? I was pretty proud of it. Like I said, it took three hours of trial and error and finally me giving up and saying, okay, Google, <laughs> how do I make a brick path in Animal Crossing? And I found a lot of different designs that were super helpful some of them i tried and i just couldn't get it right so we gave up um but this one this was a pretty easy one since everything is you know cornered and rectangular but yeah this is it and i added the sidewalk a little bit just to help break up some of the brick and I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. And because I worked at this for so long, three hours to get this right, if not longer, give or take 30 minutes to an hour, <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna use my own design as well as like others as well, but I really, really like what I did here. I love it actually. The sidewalk is a bit weird. I couldn't get that one right. I didn't know what to do. When I had like all four corners covered with that border, it looked weird when I started adding more to each other. So I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do with that. But anyways, yes, I have made some changes to the layout because it was driving me crazy having just everything thrown out randomly with no purpose at all so I tried to give everything a little bit of purpose I moved this chair here with the typewriter as if somebody you know sits there and writes up a story um, why you would use a cardboard box I don't know maybe you're inventive <laughs> and then I put this here and me and Rattle, we were jamming out last night. Rattle was on the guitar and I was here. All we were missing was a singer. We just needed somebody on the mic. Um, this is mine and my bestie spot for right now. It'll probably change, but this is where her and I were hanging out, taking pictures and just enjoying each other's company. I love that she loves this game. She is officially addicted. I was worried about that. This happens with everybody though. I'll, I'll catch her at the meeting sometime. <laughs> but anyway, so I made um, 
the chairs and the table here well the table i have already made but i made some of these chairs to go with it because the director's chair that was just sitting there just didn't go and here at least you can sit at the table with the director's chairs you know the arms block you from doing any of that i've cleaned up a lot of the trees um made some diy furniture because i think that adds more points to your islands rating which you guys got a little peek of at the beginning that we are officially in island rating zone now where we are being tested so i messed with this garden i basically just moved the flowers down to make it eye level with the airport and symmetrical so that's all i did there but it's still the same amount and then I had to move Rowan because he was sitting like right on top of these fences and it just felt so crowded here. So I went ahead and moved him. Um, and then nothing different here, just threw down some more furniture. I'm hoping that we're covered in terms of furniture and flowers that it's really just me needing more people at this point. But Anywho, you do not want to go into my house right now either. It is a mess. <laughs> you know what? I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions. I'm going to teach you. Okay. Ah, let's do laughter. You ready? <laughs> That's what laughing from the gut looks like. Really clears the head. Give it a whirl. They say laughter is the best medicine. It really is. Always makes me feel good. Okay. So down here to the Able Sisters. This will be the first stop that we make. And then we've got to go say hi to Bangle and Tex. Oh, well, I've already said hi to Tex yesterday, but he should be unpacked today. His home is made of ice on the inside. It's like ice flooring and ice walls. Oh. Whoops, had to take a coffee sip. All right, hey there, welcome to Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Oh, I love it. Oh, hey, it's a great spot finder, Birdie. Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on Rose Pond and keep selling our clothes and accessories. I'm here for it. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there for front and center. We change these up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. Then over on the left, you'll find our mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits we're into. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course, and if you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays, you'll find our custom designs portal. That's what I'm here for. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. And the last thing I want to tell you about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. I almost read that as it's on the back right side of the shop. I tend to read ahead sometimes. Okay, all the time. <laughs> this is where you can go to try on anything that's available for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Wow, 
I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. Hey, it's your passion project. You love it. We're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I hope I'll be seeing you in here lots. Um, absolutely, when I can afford it, though, of course. Oh, what? I could look like a duck. Um, all of it? Can I buy all of it? I'll buy it. I, I love ducks and I love birds. Um, the beak. The beak for $4.90, Mabel. <laughs> I'll buy it. Um, yep. You got it. This was well put together. Bravo to whoever customized this. Okay. We've officially bought the whole thing. I am freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at her. Is she... Is adorable. Okay, let's let's have a look sees in here. That's our fitting room. Go in there to try stuff on, and if you like it, you can buy it right then and there. It's a great way to see how things actually look on you, and you can try multiple things at once too. It's super convenient, so please feel free to use it anytime. My home storage is full, so she won't be able to send any of this to my storage. Like, if I choose an outfit to wear, normally they'll send your other clothes to your home storage, but that's not going to happen. Oh, and then I can have any of these. Oh, but I really like the yellow one. That one's not bad either. I like that color. Oh, we don't want to accidentally buy it. Oh, <laughs> A goatee. I don't think that's gonna work for me. Oh, a halo. But I don't want it to take off my outfit. Oh, these are my favorite sneakers, so I have to purchase those. And I think that's all I'm going to get for today because I really have to watch my money. As cute as this stuff is. Bestie, this video comes out today. She watches all of my stuff, so let me know before 9 p.m. if there's anything you want to come over and purchase. <laughs> uh, oh, you have a choice. No thanks. Wait. No, where? Oh, wait. Maybe we do want to wear those shoes. I didn't realize I was still on my sandals. Does this not have shoes? What if we just take them off then? And we just, we, we look exactly like the mannequin. Mannequin for a day. Nice. Oh, and hi over here. Sable. Sorry, can't talk. And let me in. I'm going to let you, let me in on a secret. I'm going to let you in on a secret. <laughs> if you're new and you have the Able Sister Shop, talk to this beautiful hedgehog every day. You won't regret it. And there's no harm in talking to her. She is, she is very shy, and she doesn't like to talk to people, but eventually, you never know. A friendship may blossom, so keep at it. All right, and this is our custom designs portal. We are not going to touch this today, because until I unlock the ability to lay down my path a different way than how I've been doing it, which is going through the custom designs thing and then saying, put this on the ground. That is a very long drawn out way of doing it. So until I unlock more, that's about as good as it's going to get because that took a lot out of my hands yesterday. <clears throat> a world of creativity awaits via the custom designs portal. You can download custom designs from creators all over the world and even share your own designs. You can also take it on the go. Visit the next stop and redeem miles for access via the custom designs app. 
Would you like to access the this internet kiosk? Yes. Excuse me. <clears throat> custom design post limit increased. You can now post up to 200 custom designs. Nice. We hope you enjoy this new flexibility and continue to use the custom designs portal. Well, I'm glad they did that because there are so many creative people out there. You guys need room, right? <laughs> um, let's see. So here I can post one of my designs. Please read before posting designs. The custom designs you post can be viewed by other players around the world. Please do not post designs that contain illegal content or would make other players uncomfortable. Absolutely not. Posted designs can be deleted from the server if they are deemed to be inappropriate and in violation of the Nintendo Code of Conduct. I completely understand. Thank you for your interest in posting designs. Oh, here we are. You are now registered as creator. Your ID is MA-02033659-1394. Okay, let me say that properly. MA-02033659-1394. You can check your creator ID at any time from the Passport app on your Nook phone. Got it. Please select a design to post. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm, I'm not, I am not posting these. These, these are a sham. <laughs> I did horrible with those, but I can post these. I'm pretty proud of these. I did really good. So if you guys want them, they're here. And it won't hurt my feelings if you don't take them. I completely understand. I am really new to all of this designing stuff. You can now assign a type to all custom designs, excluding pro designs. To facilitate searching, just press X to assign a type to your design. Previously posted designs can also be assigned a type. Setting a type does not limit how a custom design can be used. Also, it is possible to change a design's type even after it has been posted. Well, that's good to know. Um, change type, which one's X again? This one. Um, I would say this is definitely ground or floor. And then post. So that's just the sidewalk and I put top L for top left. And this is the creation ID for that design. M-O-T-Y-D-4-6-V-R-T-9-S-W-3. Would you like to share this info on social media? No, thank you. Would you like to post another? Sure. And then this one is the sidewalk top right. I need to make a middle one. I think what I'm gonna do is take the, the dark brown edges um, and make them go all the way around, right? That's what you would do, I'm assuming. We're gonna try it and see. And this design idea is M O T Q H um, X H whoa <laughs> P B five nine X four zero Y. And this one is sidewalk bottom left. And this ID, I, oh boy, I cannot speak. This ID for the design is M O W X D F Q V S D C N 6 F. And for the bottom right, the design is, this is a sidewalk, M-O-7-J-Y-R-C-5-T-Y-T-X-3-7. I 
Okay, and this is the brick flooring. This does not layer over um, any of the in-game paths. So I did make a version that will lay over the in-game paths as well. We'll do both of those. Probably should have named this something else, so. That's gonna be confusing. I'll go back in and change it. I think you can change, if I change the name on the outside, I think it changes it on the inside as well. And for the brick design, that isn't an overlay. It's MO4XSFNHRP57VN. And then I'll also make sure to leave my creator code on the screen so that way you guys have access to that too. So just in case if I do happen to create something in the future that you're like, oh wow, wow, she actually nailed this one, <laughs> then it'll be there for you guys. <clears throat> And for the brick overlay design, this is M O H S C Q F D R Q 49 N M. And we're good. So I think I can go here again and it'll show my designs. Yep, there they are. This is it. And then down at the bottom left, that is my creator code, MA. 02033659 In case you guys are interested in any of these pieces, you'll have them. <laughs> now clothes, I'm not so good at designing clothes, but we might try. We might try to have some Rose Pond merch. But yes, this is where you come when you want to search up other creators, or you can just do um like a criteria search <clears throat> and I'm not going to do anything specific. I'm just going to put ground or floor and hit search. Oh, look, there I am. <laughs> There's me. But yeah, as you can see, there are tons and tons of fantastic ones. Like, look at these. I quite frankly wouldn't know what to do with them because I, I think I would do some of these designs poorly with placing them and decorating around them. I Some things I just don't have a creative mind for. I'm actually pretty simplistic when it comes to decorating. But yeah, these are all very great. Um, some of these can be used on the ground. Some of these can be used on the simple panels, really anything. You can put these custom designs on anything. You can even wear them on your face. So <laughs> yeah, feel free to check out my designs if you're, whoop, I hit the wrong button. If you're interested in any of them, like something like this can be used as um, a kitchen tile design or um, a picnic blanket. Find some fringe and you can definitely use it as a picnic blanket. We are all done. And then of course, if you see something that you really like, but you don't have space for it or don't really know what to do with it just yet, so you don't want to add it to your collection, you can always favorite it and then it'll be right there in your favorites when you want to do a search for it. Um, let's take a look at the, I'm going to look at the top. I, I kind of like that hat up top. Top row, please. That's mystery knit cap. Someone from any aisle designed it. So what did you want to do? Oh, I actually wanted to look at the next one. Can I not move over? Oh, you have to be in front of it, right? Yeah, so make sure you're standing in front of the design that you want. That's flower print hat. Someone from any aisle designed it. I want this design, please. <clears throat> You'll need to delete one of the custom designs you have now to make space. Is that okay? Sure thing. So there's two different custom design spots. One is for clothes. Like we are on the clothes side now that we've accessed it. So I'm just going to put it over here for now. I'm not going to delete another design. But now that I've 
opened Able Sisters. <clears throat> and for those of you who already know this, I'm so sorry. I, I When I play, I play with the intentions that someone new is also watching my channel. So I like to give um, tips and tricks of the things that I know so far. So that way people don't struggle to without overboarding it, I guess, to where the experience isn't so fun. Custom designs marked with whatever that is, a pencil. <laughs> Custom designs you did not make are marked with the line and pencil. Okay. You cannot edit custom designs with the line and pencil. If you want to use that design slot, you'll have to delete that design first. All right. So here's all the custom designs that you can use on the ground or floor, on your face, on your person, um, on the wall even, and other objects as well. And then over here is all of your clothing items. And eventually you can make things like umbrellas. Um, oh, what are those? The Goodness gracious. They're the cutout wall things. Um, I can't think of the name of them. Somebody help me out here. <laughs> but anyways, this is where you can get really creative. I've seen people take these kind of hats and make like pancakes out of them. It is brilliant the things people come up with in this game so i can't wait to start looking everything up and and showing you guys the things that i find which you know you've probably already seen too um but on the off chance that someone stumbles across my my channel here and looks at it maybe they maybe they don't know either and we can know things together okay so now we need to go meet our, whoops, you didn't see that. We need to go meet our new neighbors. Aw, we look adorable. I learned this recipe last night and as soon as I learned it, I went and hit trees, got the wood needed. I mean, I have wood, but I, I don't know what I'll need it for then turned around and made those ASAP and then customized them. I love ducks and I love birds. All right, so this is Tex. Let's go see what his house looks like. I only get to see the wall and flooring, which was all ice. Oh, and he's crafting, okay. I see, yes, so he likes music. He plays in a band, nice. Oh, Birdie, welcome to the House of Tex. What you doing? Glad you asked. I'm just making a, a decayed tree. <laughs> the recipe came to me in a dream. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the decayed tree? Um, sure. Yeah. Uh-oh. I've already forgotten my dream. But I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. Give it a try, Birdie. If I can make this, anyone can. Thank you. All right. Oh, we had just enough space for it, too. I learned a DIY recipe for a decayed tree. What does this look like? <clears throat> oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. Tin hardwood? Let's see. Let's go hit some trees then. Thanks, Tex. We'll place one of these trees out. That's really cool looking. You have like a spooky island? That'd be a really cool theme. A spooky island theme? I'm not good at themes. I, I don't ever do a theme because I'm not good. Um, I just tend to go with the flow and just place things. And then I'm like, cool, I like it. She's so stinking cute. I can't. Birdie. It's just like you said. This place has such great vibes. I'm so glad I moved. I can tell this is where the universe wants me to be. You know, good things are going to happen here. 
I bet some of those good things are even going to happen to folks who aren't me. Oh boy. <laughs> Come visit again once I'm done cleaning up, okay? I most certainly will. You sweet thing. Look at her. Stop it. Stop being so dang cute. I want to hug you. Can I, can I do this? She's like, girl, I'm trying to clean my house here. Please leave. I've got some unpacking to do. Unless you're going to pick up a box. How about you get out? No, she's probably not that mean. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> Yay. And then this is how many people now? Oh, I've lost track. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people. Eight when um Tucker gets here. Nice. Oh, I placed this house and lost my tree. I think I got lazy last night and was just like, I'm I'm done moving trees. I don't want to move any more trees. I got excited yesterday too, thinking that I could pay my home loan off and that it would be all set for today to be upgraded, but I forgot it was 198,000 bells. So I did not have enough. Let's see, right now we are sitting at, I mean, the fishing is great for making money if you need it, but after a while you're just like, no more fish, please. No more fish. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I have 88,454. I had a lot more in there. I think I had 130 something thousand, but yeah, we've got a long way to go. Um, let's check out the shopping. Yes, please. Yeah, I used to just buy five, the five items a day from here every single day. But I'm really not much in a hurry to, you know, get this app on my phone. Honestly, it... It holds me accountable for checking this every single day to make sure I get my free points, but then I don't get on every day, so I don't get the high level, which is okay. You know, I don't mind at all. And I, yeah, I came in and I bought a few of these items. Just a couple though. I didn't buy any of the clothes. I feel silly wearing Princess Peach's outfit. Like I'm not worthy of her outfit. <laughs> Because she, she's a cutie. I love Princess Peach. My kids love her too. Now my daughter, I think that's the, if I'm being honest, my youngest is the real reason why I will not put on um, Princess Peach's outfit. Because she would get so mad. She's Princess Peach. Everything we do, and both of them playing Mario Party, forget it. Playing Mario Party with them is brutal. Because they both love Princess Peach, and then they fight over her. And then I'm like, you know what? This was supposed to be fun. This doesn't feel fun anymore. Custom Design Pro Editor Plus. Custom Designs Portal. Okay, so this right here, I believe, allows you to have access to it through your phone. Yeah, this will allow you to access the Custom Designs Portal from your Custom Designs app. The app will be updated immediately. This might be kind of a long, longer episode than what I've been doing lately, as long as I keep the time in mind, because I do have to get my youngest off the bus, then I'm cool with that. This is, this is our cozy time. All right, this adds custom designs portal access to the Nook Phones custom designs app, which just makes this so much better. Now, when the game first came out, you did not have this option, so you had to constantly go into Able Sisters anytime you wanted to download a, a custom design or replace one or look at them. Whatever you wanted to do, it was always go into the Able Sisters. So if it was after 9 p.m., unless you time traveled, you weren't getting in there. So this was heaven sent. I love that they did this. 
Are you sure you want to redeem 300 miles for this feature? Absolutely. This I cannot go without. Because while I love the Able Sisters store, and I do, it can be so hard, especially if they're on the other side of the island from where you are and you need, you need a design and you need to look for one. You want a flower design or something because where you're at right now, you're like, you know what would be perfect here? Flowers that don't grow all over the place. Just, just you know, some fake flowers. <laughs> Fake plants are my favorite. They don't ever die. Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Fake plants are my favorite kind of plants because I can't harm them. I am the worst. I have no green thumb whatsoever. So yes, now I can access the custom designs portal from my custom designs app. All right, so this has been updated. Your custom designs app can now access the custom designs portal. The designs of the world are at your fingertips anytime, day or night. Please note that you must have an active Nintendo Switch online membership to use this feature. Got it. All right, so then we just press X. Would you like to access the custom designs portal? Yes. And then here we are, the same screen that we saw earlier at the Able Sisters, but now in our hands. And look at that. There's my custom designs again. And see, I don't have any, whoa, I don't have any clothing items just yet, but that's where that will be on this side. And it's not just clothing. Like I said, there are other items that eventually you will learn to unlock, um, such as like umbrellas and there's little handheld flags that you can have um, hats, all sorts of stuff. And then this right here adds new items you can create with Pro Designs to your Custom Designs app. This is probably going to include what I was talking about. Okay, and then this will probably be the last of what I spend. Maybe. I feel like I need to buy that pro decorating license though. I think that's the one that allows me to have the ceiling items. Now I can make even more items with pro custom designs. All right, let's take a look at that real fast. Thank you for upgrading your custom designs app again. You can now create pro designs for base cutout standees. That's what I was trying to say earlier, the cutout standees. Handheld flags, umbrellas, and Uchiwa fans. I am so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Plus, you now have 50 additional slots for both regular custom designs and pro designs. Awesome. We hope you enjoy creating fun, new pro item designs with this expanded functionality. You know, we all got excited for the extra design slots because they were so needed. But the problem with receiving more is then you end up wanting more. Like, we're never satisfied. Because <laughs> that was me. I was like, oh no. No, I've blown through it. I need even more space. But that's only because I was using a lot of the pieces that require nine um, slots to be taken up. Oh my goodness. I went a little crazy with decorating my last island for sure. And even the one before that, it's like as soon as they gave me more space for custom designs, I took it on as a challenge to see how many nine slot designs I can have at a time. you huh okay I see this totally makes sense 
I got my pro decorating license. Now I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. Nice. All right, that is enough spending here. We are taking more than we are putting in at this point. That's okay. Some of these will for sure get done. Oh, I also have cherry trees coming in now. My bestie has cherries on her island, so she gifted me some. Ah, oh, birdie, hello, hello. This is the construction consultation counter. How can I help you? Oh my goodness, did I actually do that without messing it up? Well, now I kind of messed it up by acknowledging it. <laughs> um, yes, what should I do? Let's make sure we don't have anything going on today. We're on the last part of Project K, the grand plan to hold a KK concert on this island. If we can raise the image of this island and get some excellent word of mouth PR, then I will make a proposal to KK about holding a concert here. If you need help on improving the island's image, chat with Isabel. It wouldn't hurt to start getting ready for the concert by familiarizing yourself with some of KK's songs too. Got it. Hi, Isabel. Now we're probably still a one star rating because she did state that we need more people. But I have seen people getting three stars and they don't have all of the people yet, all 10 villagers. So let me know in the comments if that's a possibility. Oh, Birdie, good afternoon. How can I help you today? Um, let's talk island evals. So you're curious about the current image of Rose Pond. Right now, Rose Pond still has a one star rating. <laughs> Folks are feeling like we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I've gathered. I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where free spirits like me can just be free. Why does this sound like it came from the ghost that roams around sometimes? And I cannot remember his name. Um, oh darn it. Well, there you have it. I, his, his name has slipped my mind. Now if we want feedback, Wisp? Is it Wisp? Now if we want feedback from anyone else, increasing the population must be our main focus. Of course, we can forget about our natural environment. I'd love your help in creating something beautiful. If there's one thing I believe, it's that you can never have too many flowers. Okay, so that is a hint as well. Just imagine this island covered in lovely explosive blooms and sweet aromas being carried on the breeze. I'm sorry, what were we talking about? And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? I'm good for now. All right then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay. All right, so I think we need to place more flowers down then. Oh, a sloppy sofa. I'm getting lucky with this sloppy furniture. I've never had sloppy furniture before. This is really cool. And a viewer let me know about the sloppy furniture as well in one of my comments. I appreciate you so much still for letting me know about it. I, I've never had it before, so this is really exciting. Now, you guys, my house, okay, my house. We don't talk about these things. I have no storage space. <laughs> Pro decorating license. Time to learn about accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. Accent walls. You can hang a different type of wallpaper on one of the walls in a room to create an accent wall. While in decorating mode, use the right arrow button, then select the wallpaper. Press X to set up the accent wall. Hanging items from the ceiling. You can hang lighting fixtures and other items from a room ceiling. While in decorating mode, use the plus button to swap modes so you can edit ceiling fixtures. Awesome. 
All right, so what they're talking about there is like, for example, just so I don't have to stare at it in case I forget to change it. Um, no, hang on, gotta go this way. Oh, maybe you have to go to the wall itself like that. And no, wait, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, the plus button. No, that's the ceiling. I don't want to do that. No, I thought I could do this straight. Ooh, don't leave. I thought I could do this from here. Oh, maybe you have to have like a wallpaper to actually demonstrate with, which I don't. Your flooring, hang on. We'll do this. Barnacles, that's why I came in here. Worst demonstration ever. <laughs> um... Yeah, I wish I had more space because then I just keep here. You can't drop items and I don't want to have dropped items on the island because it doesn't add to your rating. Oh, I have four of those. That's nice. Um, oh, wait, I think you can only hold 10. Yep. Okay, so that didn't make any sense. And then I can put this music in one of my little radios that I have outside. And then we can place these guys down outside and that'll give some more room. Can I put this up? And what about this? Yes. Oh, and I need to give Blathers this. That's a new fish. Before I accidentally sell him. Okay, and the rest of this can be... Yeah, I can't drop these. That's a bummer. But anyways, we can now pick this up and then hopefully, hopefully I can do this properly. It literally just said how to do this. So you can do it this way. And then that way that wall itself changes. I'm sorry, it took me forever to get to that explanation. Um, and then I think that put no, it doesn't put it in your pocket. Okay. But I believe you can only do the one wall. You can't have like all of these walls be different. It'll just change the wall that you're looking at to be the accent wall instead. And there's probably another way to do that, but my mind isn't working around that right now. But yeah, this is this is a mess. And we did do our turn up, so we should go and see the, the price for those. I really should have gone and saw what the morning price was. But it completely slipped my mind because I was super excited for all of the other things that popped up in today's announcements. And then here I will place this peacock butterfly right on top of the other one. There we go. And that opens up space there. Um, let me place some of these things. What do we have? Okay, a super mushroom. And then I'm, I'm just going to turn this guy around. There we go. And I'll place this other. Didn't I buy another one? Oh, maybe I didn't because I ran out of room. Nope. That's okay. Can I move this over more? Probably not. Yeah. Okay, then I want to move it somewhere else. <laughs> Not there. Um, what about by my house? Put it by my house. The thing is as big as my house. Wow. And can I fit this one next to it? I love these items. I I wish, and I don't know if you can, I've never tried it, but I wish you could put these by cliffs and then use it to hop on top of to get to the other side. If that is something that you can do, please let me know. I've never tried it. It just popped into my head. What does this one look like? The sloppy sofa. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. I can't wait to customize it. 
We need to go visit Harvey as well. <clears throat> I need to go to, to see and meet this guy the first time. I think you have to go the first time to meet him in order to have access to everyone else that's there. I'm going to place this trash can down. Oops, we're going to put it right here. I feel like this is a lot of clutter in this area. I hope not. But at some point, I don't know if I'll keep these flowers or if I'm going to throw them away. But we do need to, to buy and place more. So let's go see what Timmy and Tommy... Oh, hang on. Hi. Label. Why, hello. I'm Label, the fashion designer. I'm not sure if you've heard of me. I have a tendency to call her Labelle. I mean, I only recently decided to become an independent designer, so you might say I'm still in training. But that's why I'm traveling to lots of different places. I want to see and learn about as many styles as I can. In fact, I wonder if you maybe, if maybe you might help me with a little style exercise. It goes like this. I'll call out a specific fashion theme and then you change into an outfit that matches that theme. You'll have to model it for me, of course, but I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Sure, why not? Wonderful, thank you so much. Let's get to it. Now, I'd like you to put together an outfit that looks like it belongs in a fairy tale. Let knights, princesses, and storybook characters of all kinds be your inspiration. I'll give you some fairy tale clothing so you have an idea of what I'm going for. There you go, it's a thief's costume. All you have to do is keep this piece in mind as you put together a fairy tale outfit. If you're not sure what to do, just wear something that would go well with it. If you coordinate everything from head to toe, that would be so fab. Well, that's what they say in the fashion business anyways. I'll be waiting right here, so come back anytime. No lie, I am like rushing to get to this balloon because I really need these recipes, these cherry blossom recipes, and I popped so many yesterday and it just wasn't giving them to me. Maybe we'll be a little more lucky today. Yes. So far, the only one I've unlocked is the wand and the petals. So I made a few of those and set them out. And now we have this one. So we have a total of three now. I could craft this one. Okay, let's see if what I have on will be counted as a fairy tale outfit. I feel like it could be. Hmm, I see. Wonderful, that's it exactly. Your combination of clothing radiates that perfect fairy tale look. There's just so much I can learn from your sense of style. Thank you. I want to give you something to show you how much I appreciate your help. Have you heard of Taylor's tickets? We should have talked to her first. You can take a tailor's ticket to the tailor shop and exchange it for an item that costs 3,000 bells or less. Now, you can't use it at Timmy and Tommy's shop. Still, I hope you use it to buy something nice for yourself. I'll send my gift to you in the mail, so be sure to look for it there. And please take this too. I made it with my own two paws. Oh, thank you. A LaBelle coat. You see, I hope you like the look. It's a design for my fashion label. I mean, my label is new, so it's not famous yet. It's called LaBelle. I used to go by that name when I first set out to be a designer, but these days I'm using my real name, Label, while LaBelle lives on in my um, fashion label. Oh, I hope that's not too confusing. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you for being so very helpful. She's so cute. Oh, There's a butterfly flying around here. I don't know if I have this one. Do I have you? We do. Okay, so I can sell you. Okay, let's go give this fish two blathers and then go see Timmy and Tommy. And then we'll also need to find our money tree spot. I might need to grab more money out. Sorry. <laughs> um, make a donation. Pop 
apologies. I was checking my messages. I have my phone on do not disturb. So periodically I, st I look down to make sure nothing important is there. Um, actually, we're just going to go ahead and go. Normally, I, if it's one thing, I like to let him give me an explanation on it. But I really just want, there's a lot that I want to do today. I want to go to Timmy and Tommy before I forget to check my turnip prices. Because I could have some awesome prices day one. It's happened before. It's rare, but it happens. I think my luck was always middle of the week is when I would find the best prices, but it's random. It's just that one island I had, it was always middle of the week. I could count on there being really good turnip prices. Um, turn up prices, please. Ooh, no, no, no. That'll, that'll not do. Um, yeah. Do we have anything on us we can sell? I know I just got the butterfly. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, we'll keep those things. Just the butterfly. Oh, nice. Sure. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to go. Yep, we've got to go to the bank. Sorry. Might come back later when I get more money. I have to pull 10,000 bells out. I can't wait to unlock the ability to have the bell dispenser outside. I think that's after we finish doing the prologue because I don't remember seeing it in here I don't see much of the new stuff all of the new stuff actually yeah there's still quite a bit that's missing from here Yeah, there's none of the new stuff, really. That's all, like, the base, not the 2.0. We're getting there. Um, let's withdraw. So that way we can have money for our money tree. That, that money tree is helping me out tremendously. Oh, we have messages. Oh, look at that. On April 16th, we celebrate Birdie. Birthdays are all about showing appreciation for our friends. Let's make sure this one is no exception. Tom Nook. Now, just so you guys know, April 16th is not my real birthday. So you do not have to wish me a happy birthday on that day. If you want to, that's fine. But again, birthdays, my real name, those are just things that I'm not going to share online. I mean, maybe one day in the future, but as of now, I'm just not very comfortable with it. Okay, I haven't noticed any money spots on this side, so we might need to go to the other side. Let's go ahead and dig these fossils up too. I made quite a bit of the cherry blossom petals, so I need to make sure I'm replacing, or not petals, but the, um, oh boy, this thing here. <laughs> so I need to make sure I'm replacing them. Hi, Rowan. Oh, I want to move that rock too. I can't see it now that I've moved those trees there. Oh, no, come back. Oh, it's coming back. Got it. All right, I think I have two fossils on me right now. Yes. 
Here, let me move these together. Oh, something else I need to do while I'm thinking about it. What? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, where do I have a radio? And I know I have one somewhere. I think I put one right here. Yes. All right, we'll go ahead and register that one. Oh, I guess I could put that on shuffle as well, so it's not always the same song playing. Or is it already on? How do I shuffle? Oh, maybe shuffle isn't a thing. It'll just play whatever you have in there, I'm guessing. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, we need two more fossils. Are there any back here? Some like to spawn by his house. Nope. Nope. I got that fence, though. <laughs> Do I have you? Oh. Oh, darn it. I think I've gotten him before. Where'd you go? Oh. He really disappeared. Oh, I hear you, though. Oh, you just blend in with the the grass. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yes, we got it. Okay. Well, we can still sell him. That sounds so wrong. Well, we can still sell him. That's cool. Sorry. I do need the money, though. Oh, yes, we did get the, um, the bottle today. Oh, here's the last one. Nice. I still need to find that money spot, though. Yesterday, it was on a cliff. I moved all of these trees on this side as well. I tried not to tear down any, but some did get destroyed. I'm hoping that it doesn't interfere though with the island rating. Maybe it's on a cliff. Oh, hi, bestie. Um, so far, nothing. Hmm. Where is my money tree? Oh, there it is. I see it. There we go. It's hiding. And we'll go ahead and take this and put it by my house. That way I will see it. Because I had one tree that was grown up and I don't know how many days it sat there for before I ended up going and getting it. Was there any more? I thought I put one on this cliff, but I might have remembered to take it down. No, I think it was this one that was on the cliff and it had the money there and I was like, oh, I forgot to remove it and put it by my house so I would see it. Um, oh, I hear a balloon. Uh-oh, he's thinking about something. Check this out, Birdie. 
I was trying to think of a fun way for an amateur like you to build some muscle. Then it hit me. <gasps> a treasure hunt. You should totally play a treasure hunt game with me. Running around the island, digging holes for treasure. What a great way to train. Mango. Okay, I'm up for that. All right, I'll go hide some treasure. So just hang out here. Okay. Okay, here's how to play. I buried some treasure. If you find it within the time limit, you win. It's buried somewhere outside, so there's no need to muscle into anyone's place. Now let's do this. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, it's right here. I'm so glad I dug up the fossils first. I've played this game before where <laughs> I didn't get all my fossils, so I just kept digging up fossils, and I was like, oh, come on, and I ran out of time. I never found it. You found it. Nice work, Birdie. Hand it over so I can bend it open for you. <laughs> I mean, I could have done that myself. Open, says me. A wrestler uniform. How nice. Congrats, Birdie. Way to go, Birdie. That was a blast. I can't wait for next time. Mango. Oh, you know what? Here, buddy. You like to work out all the time. So I know I should be wrapping this, but... This is an impromptu gift. Whoa. This looks like a wrestler uniform. <laughs> His face. <laughs> looks super familiar, but nah. My biceps are playing tricks on me. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna look great flexing in this. <laughs> this looks perfect on me. Thank you, Mango. There's something for you. A shaded floor lamp. Take it, don't be shy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I couldn't let his gift go to waste and I thought it would look better on him than me anyways, and it does. It goes super well with him. That was just such a funny encounter. I love him. He's like, um, yeah, this gift looks familiar. What are you doing, Birdie? Regifting is frowned upon. Kindly standard. Good deeds are their own rewards, but go ahead and have some Nook Miles too for, fill, for fulfilling requests from other island residents. Yes, yes. Oh, that's our first one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and then active island resident. Let's see where we're at. So still only 13 days. Um, I really felt like that was part of an addendum to that. Like you had to be active for 30 days, but yeah, maybe it is just like spending money in the shop and that's it. Um, let's see, do I have you? Oop, I think I have him. I think he's, oh goodness. I think he's right by my house. I'm collecting him to give to, to Flick. I have so many bugs for him. And honestly, I can't wait for him to come and visit. But also he has a tendency to visit my island when it's raining and when it's raining, there aren't many bugs so that's a bummer okay um what else can we do so we picked up all of the fossils so we should go get them assessed well, let me put this recipe down too i don't want to forget um actually i can just place it right here Oh, and my money tree. We have to put the money tree down. Put the money tree down. So that way you get your money. Um, I think these are money trees growing right here too. I, I just prefer to have them by my house. And then those I will also just go ahead and tear down. We should hit some trees. Let's go get these fossils assessed first. It's not 
like somebody was chasing me. I don't know why I tried to pan around. No, I have that bug. Assess fossils, please. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is Monday, so that doesn't doesn't have to be a bad thing though. Mondays are not fun days, I get it. But even still, I do hope everyone is having a fantastic Monday. And if you're not, then may this evening be a cozy one for you i mean it's still day for me but i'm just saying in case you're watching this in the evening or if you're watching it once i upload it then hopefully your evening will have a turnaround and you can be cozy cozy and comfortable and relaxed um, make a donation please <clears throat> oh man we are going slowly now so slowly that's okay. That's four fossils that I can give. I mean, fossils are better to sell, honestly, in my opinion, because they can be worth quite a bit. Um, but they do make really good gifts. Because I don't ever set them out. I think if I do set them out, there's only one fossil that I really like to use. And I can't think of the name of it, but it looks like a turtle. Like a really, really big turtle. Okay. Oh, what are these other two? Grow fruit trees and sell a hot item. Okay. Well, I have some fruit trees here, but... Can add three cherry trees back here. Whoopsies. Don't go that way. <laughs> I'm gonna make this petal disappear probably. Nope. It stayed. Oh darn it, that might that might make it disappear. Because I've done two things by it now. Yeah. That's okay. That was a hard one to see. Thank you, Bestie, for my cherries. Is it just need to plant the one? I mean, we might as well plant three. Then that's gonna be, I think, seven, because there's three here, and I have two here, and two here. I love the cherry trees. The apple trees are my favorite, though. I love the apple trees. The apple trees, the peach trees, cherry trees, then um, the pear trees, and then the coconuts. That's how I rate them. Oh, and um, bamboo trees. I can't forget the bamboo trees. Then I'd probably have to put the bamboo trees, apple, bamboo, um, peach, cherry, and pear. Then the coconut trees. There we go. If I were to be rating trees in order of likes to dislikes i mean i like them all i just like some more than others <clears throat> i don't know why i keep coming to the beach like i'm expecting more stars yesterday there was from the night before when i did it and i got on yesterday so many more kept popping up and i was like whoa star overload I mean, not in a bad way. I just, I didn't think that many would pop up. All right, I think what we're going to do now is buy some more land and go ahead and place it. I'm also debating if I want the last plot to be saved for one of my amiibo cards. Because I have a ton of amiibo cards, but I kind of just wanted to, I think the plan for me as of right now is to kind of let this stuff not autofill. I mean, I guess I could let the last one autofill, 
<clears throat> and have zero control over who comes and then we can go on a hunt after I get this one. Oh wait, no, he's gonna reject me. I don't have enough money. I'm just kidding. Hang on, I'm good. I don't have the money for it. You have to have 10,000 in order to move. Or to get a plot anyways. Oh, my money's... Buy house payment. <laughs> When they rate me this Sunday, it's going to be awful if I don't get this house paid off and upgraded. Um, I would like to purchase some land, please. Or sell some land, I mean. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I'm still purchasing it. <clears throat> um, sure will. Of course. Thank you very much. I'll just hand over that housing kit you'll need. <clears throat> just use a kit once you find a good location. Off you go now. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'm good. All right, I'll be here if you need me. Yes, sir. So we'll place this. Um, oh, I should have bought a ticket while I was in there. I don't have any on me. I just buy them one at a time. So we'll place this one on the beach as well. Yeah, let me move you. Here we go. Oh, oh, sure. Move me, move me right by a tree so branches and leaves can just drop right into my bowl. Thank you. Um, I need to rethink. Can I move this over closer then? Nope, back a little bit. Is that gonna go to the same spot? Yep, yeah, it went in the same spot. Hang on. I don't wanna move too far up because then it'll be like, well, now you're in the wall, so I can help you. This is the spot. This will do. All right, let's go buy a ticket. Also, we need more flowers, so let me make space because I'm going to dig up whatever ones I find. An eggshell. But I'm already wearing an eggshell. Where did I get another eggshell from? Did I buy two of them? Mom brain. such a cute outfit. I got that out of a balloon yesterday. I've never had that before. I saw the name of it is like a mage dress or something and I was like a mage dress and I put it on and I was like what? This is so pretty. So playing on this island you know I'm coming across things that I haven't even seen before. This is not staying like this. I just I need these things off of my person. Um, without having them dropped. I just don't know if I'm going to get yelled at because there's too much clutter in this area. Um, we're going to place these guys too. Oh, not by the rock. Oopsies. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. And then I'm also gonna just put this guy down. I mean, I'm gonna sell him. I'm not keeping him. I just want this clear so we can bring back some flowers wherever we're going and I'll just drop that down we don't need all this extra stuff I really don't need these items either but that should be enough room and let's grab a ticket and go
Kind of wishing I brought some water downstairs with me. I brought a cup of coffee, but I finished that a while ago. A long while ago. Because <laughs> I've been doing this for an hour and a half. Um, Redeem Nook Miles. Yeah, yesterday I spent way too much time on this game. I was disappointed in myself once it came time for me to put it down. Because it's like, you spent like six hours playing this game yesterday. You're not supposed to be playing like this. Only because of my hands and just because it's not healthy. And the only reason I didn't do any recording as well is one, I needed time for myself, like I stated earlier. And two, also, um, I was using it in the handheld form. So I wasn't even at my desk. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, we have our Nook Miles. Let's go see who we can find. So what I've been doing is I'm, I've am i only used like one Nook Miles ticket because it costs 2,000 miles. Um, and then whoever we find is just who I take. Unless I don't want whoever is there. And then, ooh, no, no, never mind. That's not the peacock butterfly. And if I don't happen to like the person that is on there, then basically I just, I'll come home and let that plot autofill. But I wonder if it will autofill or if I have to go. But that's the plan that if I don't like a villager or want that villager on my island, I'm not going to say don't like, I'm just going to say don't want the villager on my island. Then I'll just come back home and let it autofill. But I don't know if it will or not. Feel free to let me know. I love knowledge and I, I love learning new things and it's been so long since I've played this that I don't remember everything accurately so that's why I like to say feel free to correct me or to modify what I say because um, I don't want to mislead people or give anyone the wrong information. Thank you. <laughs> what would dodos do? This one has cliffs right from the start. Oh, there's a bottle. Let me go ahead and grab that too. Are there not flowers here? <laughs> I was hoping there would be some flowers that I could pick. Isn't that funny? To whoever found this, mercy. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. Oh, I never ceased to amaze myself. Like all the best ideas, I stuck it in a bottle and let fate take over. It's time to become a DIY legend. The king of craft, Shep. Oh my gosh, he is adorable. I, I, I think I have him, maybe. I think I have his amiibo card. I do have um, one villager that I want on the island and this is because I just got his amiibo card it was um, my fiance surprised me with him he is not an easy amiibo card to get um yeah there are no flowers here what and that is um is it doby oh they're all up here oh look at you who are you bertha I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Bertha. And you're Bertie from Rose Pond? I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. Aw, look at you. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough, but... You know, I really, I'm going to say move to my island because at some point they're going to want to leave and then that's when I can replace them with my amiibo cards. Um, but I wonder if I'm getting all of the personalities or if I'm getting over overloaded with the same personality traits in these villagers. 
When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island unless you were just teasing me. Oh, never. Do you really mean it? Bloop. You'll love it there. Of course I meant it. <laughs> oh, this is also... Also exciting. I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating. I'd better do that before I forget. Okay, cutie, you do that. All right, and I am going to dig up these tulips. So I guess these are my sister flower because I see these a lot. Oh, <laughs> whoopsies. For anyone that's new playing the game, how are you liking the game so far? Have you picked up any tips or tricks that you'd like to share? And for those who have been playing for a long time, please feel free to to flood the comments with everything that you know as well because there's a lot that I'm still learning myself with this game. I mean, I've been playing since 2020, but I've also been mostly a solo player. I haven't really had anybody to teach me things. Um, you know what? How much space did I just leave myself? I'm going to put this back. I've used this quite a bit. Um, the shovel. So I'm going to go and customize it real fast so I don't lose it. And we're going to hit the the rocks that are up here. I guess that's all that's here. Like all the materials are up here. They're, I mean the resources. Um, there are no flowers or rocks anywhere else. That's really cool and unique. But if I hit these rocks here, which is what I try to do. Um, I did that yesterday where I hit my four rocks elsewhere. Um, and then I hit my six rocks at home for like a total of 10 rocks a day. That's, that's a really good way to get your resources. If you have the nook miles to travel, that is. Okay, now I'm not worried about it breaking on me. Excuse me, my love. My bad. Um. Oh, no. This isn't right. Hang on. This is at a different angle than I'm used to. Okay, I basically just did the same thing. I don't think that's it either. Oh, it's this angle. No. You can't be here. You're gonna take space. I need space. Just in case I get a gold nugget too. I've so far only gotten one gold nugget from hitting my rocks. So it's definitely rare. And we can take all of these flowers back home Hang on, can I? No. Or maybe like that. Okay, never mind. No. <laughs> I am the worst at this. Maybe I'm just human. Yay, all eight. I really need to stop saying things like that. I am the worst at this or... I'm not good at it, because all I'm doing is telling my brain these things and it's perceiving it to be true. Oopsies. You went right for that one, huh? No, I can't take you. Okay. Um, here. And here. There we go.
Oh, this is a clay rock. <laughs> That's okay. A lot of the items that you can craft are made of clay, and I really like them. Well, not a lot, but there's a fair amount of items that you use clay to craft, and they're really cool recipes. When she's walking around, I can hear her on the left side of my my headphones. I'm um, not my headphones, I'm sorry, my earbuds. Not the right side, which is the side she's actually walking around on. That's weird. Aw, we didn't get all eight. All right, one more rock. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, there's five here. I hear a bell cricket. Oh, that's okay. We got eight on a couple of them. I'll take it. All right, that's everything. Oh, hang on. Let me move these holes. That's rude. I just came over here and dug all these holes up and now she's limited on where she can move. I'm so sorry. Hang on. I'm getting them. I'm moving. Sorry, ma'am or miss. If I drop this, I'll have space for one more flower. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Apologies. There, and, and I left you some flowers too, in case you wanted to take some. I was really coming here to take them all, but I ran out of space. And then that was going to be rude because then she would have nothing pretty to look at. Just a bunch of weeds. Yes, please. I'm ready to go home. Are you ready to punt pontoons and fly soaring rose here back to Rose Pond? You positive? Yes. <laughs> be very positive because I wouldn't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Yep. Let's go home. here oh right so we hit or we not hit our tree we grew our fruit tree or started to and then a hot item oh nope, that would be over here and then there's the scattered papers that mr. ship taught us he is so adorable Sweet home. Oh, it looks like they're having a conversation over here. <laughs> um, let's check and make sure. Yep. This spot is reserved for Bertha. So we will be welcoming Bertha not tomorrow, but the day after. Tomorrow we should be welcoming Tucker. Awesome. And then, um, nope, that's still the, I think the Madagascar butterfly. I need to put these materials away where I have nowhere to put them though. All right, so I've been doing this for an hour and 45 minutes, somewhere around there. 
I am gonna go because I have not eaten lunch yet. Um, I also need to be ready to get my little one off the bus. Oh, and drop that one too. Um, so we're gonna go place these flowers down. I'm not sure where. Because if you're not careful, these flowers will grow all over the place if you're not watching them. And it's just more work on my hands, so I gotta, oops, I gotta watch them. Hang on. I gotta have a way to run through here. Maybe we can place them back here. My phone is on do not disturb but something came through so that's probably someone in my favorites these are so pretty And that's nine of them. Well, it's kind of hoping to do an even amount. Yeah, that's two spaces over. Oh, we just need three more. I sometimes see those in my shop. Let's get some, another, oh, why? I'm so used to pulling that out. I'm gonna get, um, why am I not going in? There we go. A couple of red ones too. Oh, hopefully these aren't very expensive. Yep. You know, I'll just buy three red ones and mix them in. Nope, that's it. Thank you for having this wonderful store that I can shop in. I purposely didn't look at the wallpapers and flooring. I have nowhere to put these things, so I don't know why I keep buying them. I think it's like in preparation for when I do, but right now we do not have them, so. Um, let me do, yeah, let's move you. Wait, that one was just there, wasn't it? Yep. So then I want that there. And the yellow one here. And then I'll put this red one here, just to help break this up a little bit. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. That'll work. They're cute. All right, I don't know how many more flowers she wants um i have to look that up and i'll probably do that while i'm eating lunch is that a peacock butterfly no <laughs> as look up i think the peacock butterflies only fly around hybrids right so i will only see it flying around this flower it's the only hybrid i have so far but yeah i don't know how many in addition to the ones that were on your cliff top because this were this was all of the ones that was growing on the cliffs i took them down and put them here i don't know how many more you have to have in addition to those and then i have a few more that 
Tom Nook gave me as a start and then some that I bought extra. These are some pansies that are growing back here. I stopped picking my potatoes because I have nowhere in my home storage for them. And I've yet to see Leaf yet. He hasn't come back. Um, I am probably gonna get back on here later and hit the rocks that are on my island and also hit the trees. I am running out of all this room though and my storage and places to put things so it's getting a little challenging trying to have resources in your home but anyways um this has been a really fun episode i'm having an amazing day i hope everyone else is also having an amazing day i am gonna get out of here and go eat i thank you guys so much for hanging out with me um if you're playing along thanks for playing with me and um, thanks for having me in the background. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I, I really enjoy this. And also thanks for all the comments that I've been receiving too. I love reading them and responding to them. So feel free to comment if you, if you want to, it doesn't bother me one bit. I really like it. Um, anyways, I wish you all the happiest of Mondays, the coziest of Mondays, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for day 14. Have a good one. Much peace and much love. Bye now.